Look at that lineup. What? Skip. What? So last night, ran into a bit of a problem. Uh, can't really tell, but that's an issue. Yep, that's a problem. Oh, joy is me. <sighs> okay. Oh yeah, there's a problem. That's the uh, clutch slave cylinder, clutch master cylinder. Yep, that's bad. So what we have here is an amazing situation. That bolt there is what holds the slave cylinder to the transmission. That's the only one that was on there. The other one fell off. This is part of the clutch slave cylinder, which was hanging on for dear life. <sighs> yeah. So in here, but you can't, I can't really get a good angle on it. Uh, there it is. That is a Clutch Masters flow control valve. It's supposed to help you with launching and stuff like that. Eased up on the uh, brake, the clutch pressure. But I'm going to take that out and replace that whole section of line. And as you can see, that's the slave cylinder down there. And as you know, the clutch master cylinder took a dive as well, so I gotta take that off in order to take that in. Because, for whatever reason, uh, I can't get a good angle on the line. The line that connects to the clutch master cylinder down inside of there um, has two size fittings. One is a 12 and one is a 10 millimeter. I'm not certain which one is on this car. So I have to take it off so we can measure it and figure it out. Well, this is why you always gotta have two cars. You gotta have your main whip and you gotta have a backup whip. Right now, this is sort of kind of like the backup whip because my transmission is kind of messed up from my Clutch Masters kit which help to break the part the synchro so yeah so this is going to be going into the shop next week and orange has to be up and running in order for this to go to the shop so check it out so we got ourselves right here uh, okay, it doesn't say. There we go, CM1366. So this right here is a clutch master cylinder. So I'll be replacing that. And then this is another box that doesn't say what it is. Ah, there it is, CS2162. This is the clutch slave cylinder. So I got a brand new one of those, so I'm gonna be putting that on the car. I also have one of these little wrenches 10 millimeter 11 millimeter because you really want to get full contact on the brake line nuts you don't want to go in there with just an open end wrench like i did and almost strip the edges off so get yourself one of these but make sure you get the proper size for yours mine is the 10 millimeter so i think it's uh this side right here Plus this has a little bit of a swivel so I could get in there at an awkward angle, which is how mine is. And I could get in there and loosen that up. So next step, take the rest of the stuff off, slap the new stuff in, 
get it bled, and see where we stand. Ta -da. Got that in there. Came out really simple. The only thing was that brake line was a little bit of an issue. So now I'm gonna go inside the passenger compartment, <coughs> bolt up the two bolts, and connect the reservoir, and then start over there on that side. So where I am now, I have reinstalled the clutch master cylinder. That's done. And then I had to take off my short ram intake in order to get to the clutch line here. I've disconnected that. And coming over here, there is the flow control valve, which I am removing from the system. The no good clutch slave cylinder. There's the new line and there's the hard line. So now, clutch slave cylinder will be going on. Okay, there it is. It is now mounted. Got the boot, got the new line, it's all connected. And then, reconnected the reservoir. Uh, let's see if I can get in there. Yeah, it's a little bit in there. Can't see any leaks yet, but I still gotta connect the rod and start working it. and smooth engagement. to but a little bit uh, softer. better. <laughs> 